All right, Dylan, thank you. And we can't stress enough, just stay home if you can. Emergency managers telling us that they want people to stay home. Do not go out in this right now. There is a lot of danger out on the roads. And in fact, you just got an update from Bluffton, Tyler. Yeah, Madeline, the Bluffton Township Fire District just sending me a text within the last few minutes saying that they've responded to 100 calls in the last 24 hours for service. Most of those being for downed power lines or trees like Andrew and Dylan are both talking about. They say that there are so many roads closed in Bluffton, they can't even make a list at this hour. Again, they're just asking folks to stay off the roads because of that, right? If the fire department in your city and town can't list how many roads are closed, that means you probably shouldn't be trying to drive on those roads. 49 calls for service just since midnight alone. That's as we watched that storm come closer and closer to our area and continue to impact what we know is the coastal empire and low country. There's Shay Schrader out live. Yeah, Shay, you've been giving us eyes on all the damage that people would encounter if they do go outside. What are you seeing and where are you right now? Yeah, so I'm on northbound Aber, uh, no, northbound Abercorn, excuse me, at uh, the intersection of Johnson Street. And as you can see behind me, there is a massive tree that's blocking the entire roadway. And I'll step out and give you a look at that right now. You can see it cracked just at the base of the tree, and it's completely blocking northbound Abercorn. Now, as a result of this, uh, the road wasn't shut down for a while. We first got reports of this, I would say, around 4.30 or 5 o'clock this morning. Our uh, crew got to the scene about 45 minutes ago and the road still wasn't blocked off and so as a result people were taking it upon themselves to drive through the median uh, some folks ended up driving the wrong way down the other side of abercorn street and as you can see uh, there are some folks that got stuck in the median because of that soft ground now within the last 10 or 15 minutes the savannah police department has arrived on scene they have blocked off this road so just know that if this is a main thoroughfare for you you're not going to be able to make it through at this point today you are going to have have to find an alternate route but really if you don't have to be out today the best thing is going to be not to be out today because there are similar scenes all over savannah to what we're seeing maybe not as uh severe as what we're seeing right now on northbound abercorn but just driving around this morning there's debris all over the road there are trees uh blocking you know one lane of many roads uh the power is out in many areas of town and that includes stoplights and people aren't really engaging with those as a four-way stop they're just kind of barreling through these stoplights that are completely disconnected from power. So truly a recipe for a really dangerous situation. And the reality is the Savannah Police Department can't be at every single intersection around town that has a power outage. They can't be at every single tree that's down because there are just so many of those. So just be aware of that if you do have to be out today. Now we have had uh, other startling reports today. Um, there was a shop on Broughton Street uh, that was uh, collapsed on the inside. People were able to get out, but that was definitely a startling situation. And then somebody else rescued from their home because of a fallen tree. We're going to bring you all of those updates and more throughout the day. So stick with WTOC for now live in Savannah. Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Shay there referencing the ordinary